Ever wonder what life in Portland looked like in the early 1900s? We're getting a better idea now thanks to a new collection of old photos from the Oregon Historical Society. Catherine Cook takes us back in time. Once upon a time in Portland, cows were a front yard fixture, horses pulled equipment for street construction, and men wore shirts and ties to baseball games when they played. These photos are from a collection made from 88 glass negatives, newly digitized by the Oregon Historical Society. We had them in our collection, but nobody could see them. Now anyone can see them online. It's just a great slice of Portland life from uh, over a century ago. OHS Executive Director Carrie Timchuk says someone discovered the glass negatives in a Northeast Portland home in the 1930s. Who took the photos is a mystery. We're able to say that they're probably taken about 1905. Mm. Because in one of the pictures, you can see the Lewis and Clark Exposition, the Centennial Exposition, which was essentially the World's Fair back then that really put Portland on the map. This photos and the others were taken in what's now North Portland's Albina neighborhood, once its own town. The city annexed Albina at the turn of the century. In all these pictures, you see road work being done and houses being built. You could see that Portland was growing. Yet even in its infancy, Portland was still Portland. I give you ladies with cat and toddler with puppy. And of course, the family photos. You can't tell by their faces, but it was a special occasion to pose for one of these. What I keep thinking about is how easy it is for us to take photographs now on our cell phones <laughs> and what rare gems they used to be. Photography was a much, uh, a much different science back then. People always look at old photos and say, well, why weren't they smiling? Uh, why did they look so serious? It's because you you had to sit in a pose for a long time. Tim Chuck said not long after these photos were taken, Portland's population would explode by more than 100,000. 40 years later, an example of the city's dark past would unfold in this very neighborhood. Portland was very heavily uh, segregated and redlined. And there were few places where African Americans were allowed to live. And the Albina area was one of them. The hope is things get better with time from how we treat each other to how we build a street. Photos like these remind us of how possible that is. It helps us find out who we are and why we are the way we are. Catherine Cook, KGW News.